Hello and welcome to the Dustin Eric Podcast Show brought to you by Mimosa Networks. Hi, I'm Dustin. And I'm Eric. And today we're on episode number 33. Wow, that's uh, it's been a long time since we've done a podcast, Eric. Um, I'd like to blame, uh, you know, COVID-19 for uh, the lack of content. And, uh, well, I apologize. I'm sure Eric apologizes for that. But, you know, it's it's really difficult to get people together and uh, to get content rolling. But we'll, we'll do our best to try and, and get some podcasts out um, more often, I promise. It sounds like you're getting ready to accept the Oscar or something like that. Oh, well, I could. You're, and you're, uh, you're the Oscar the best performance goes to Eric Thompson. <laughs> So oh. anyway, today's episode, number 33, we're going to talk about AX, uh, AX chipsets, what AX is, what it means. Um, so you're automatically going to assume that because I'm talking about AX, uh, that I have some kind of product announcement to make. That's not the case. I can tell you that we are working on AX products, and we will have something to share with you soon. But I figured we'd just go ahead and talk about AX in general to try and uh, you know, whet your appetite a little bit. So let's jump right in. Wireless technologies have come a very long way over the past uh, 20 years. So we started with 11B, and we went to 11A and G, then 11N. Uh, then just recently, uh, if you want to call it 2013 recently, uh, 11AC, and now the new and upcoming 11AX. So huge huge differences between all of these protocols uh we've gone from like one megabit up to you know a gig or more with ax and it's just huge improvements while you know it 20 years you're like holy crap it doesn't seem like it's really been that long or wow how did we get this far in such a short amount of time when it's really hard to measure uh changes in things over the years like um, phones. Phones have come a very long way and other products as well. So it's just astounding to see how far we've come. And so now with AX, it's, in my opinion, basically doubling or tripling anything you could have ever done in AC. So Eric, um, you've been in the Wi-Fi uh, industry for a long time, just radio industry for a long time. What do you think about AX? What are the things that you know about AX that you want to share with us? Yeah, so with all these terms out here, they're pretty much the same thing. The, the, the AX, Wi-Fi 6 is Wi-Fi 6. Uh, it, it's all the same uh, chipset, the 802.11 uh, AX, and again, right. Wi-Fi 6. It's all, isn't that all the same kind of it is. terms? All, you, hear a lot of, terms, you hear a lot of terms out there. And they're right, all those all terms are around like 6E, you know, 6, Wi-Fi right. 6, AX, AX chipsets. It all means the same thing. It's all, all the same. What are you seeing off the top? or improvements going to the 6 and the 8x8 eight eight, uh, MIMO the chipset? Well, well the, the biggest things that Wi-Fi 6 will offer uh, is OFDMA, 8x8 eight eight MIMO, multi-user MIMO, uh, N-band noise mitigation, so uh, it will better help, uh, help you fight noise and channel. So way more use, way more throughput. It's called Wi-Fi 6E because the chipset goes from 5 gig all the way up to 7 gig. So it's already ready to roll once these new rules come out for uh, 6 gigahertz for wireless users. So, right. um, yeah, that's why we're pushing to get this the AX uh, stuff done sooner rather than later here at Mimosa so we can be ready for those rules. And those rules are really what are holding everyone up from being able to use, you know, 6 gig. Right. And all the way up... Uh all the way up to seven and, and so forth. How right. about, uh, it looks like the channel width is going to, well, double for us, maybe go from 80 meg to 160. Yep, so exactly. We're gonna lose, so I, we're going we're gonna to lose some, well, some spectral density is going to change. We're going to get these big, fat, wide channels, and we'll have to fit these double wide channels in the same spectrum, but we'll be able to divide those up once again and go two by and so forth. Right. Huh? So you, you'll be able to split those channels Place up those. There. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Split them and, and place them up and such. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Use up what uh, free spectrum there is. Uh, again, that's where the the noise mitigation comes in at with the AX chipset. And of course, there's a lot of rural customers out there that don't even have to worry about that because they have the spectrum yeah. alts themselves. So the, even better for wow. those guys. They'll get to experience uh, the full speed of that product. 
for those products that are coming. One of the benefits, uh, just improved bandwidth. So you're going to still see your your different products, I guess, like say, say like Orbi and Netgears and uh, Nighthawks and, and, and maybe the Google Mesh stuff, right, as 2.4 and 5 gig. Now, you have an a- access point, one, one room, and you've got a couple of devices in another room. You know, we've gone to 2.4, and that narrow frequency, that kind of would get through the walls a little bit better. But it, you, you lose all the speed. So with, with this, they've improved the 5 gig uh, part of this. I saw some uh, videos in where he did some tests between walls on 5 gig. They've done something with the density or, or the, 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 uh, the channel width or something in there so that it can, you can improve stuff with that attenuation going through uh, walls and other materials in your own home. So it's an improvement for your, in your home uh, Wi-Fi. Networks. So what you're referring um, to is beam steering. Beam so steering. It's okay. steering the, right. the beam to your device or devices to try and help with uh, signal right. level and, and interference. SNR and interference. And so, yeah, we've, right. we've had that for a bit. Yep, yep, yep. We also experienced with the Orbi actually in the field that it's using, uh, regardless of where it's at, it's using kind of like a, some sub channels or something at, I don't know if it's at five gig or whatever, maybe at two, four to just talk to the other, other mesh units, let's say, and without sucking all the bandwidth out of your home Wi-Fi. Right, it's it's um, just sending enough to communicate, control your smart devices, and tell something to turn on or 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 give you the temperature, whatever it's doing. Um, so it's not using that that old available bandwidth that uh, you were on your two, four, and your five uh, areas. Right. Does that sound? Does that sound? Is that what it's? Is that what yeah. you uh, as you understand? Yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah, AX is already out um, with some home Wi-Fi products. Um, right. like, Indoor use and outdoor use are different. So indoor use is basically ready to roll. Um, I know that Netgear and some other vendors out there have AX uh, routers already, um, and, but they're worthless if your computer or your devices can't handle it. Right. Uh, you still got the old 2.4 printer, wireless printer, or you got an old <laughs> laptop at 2.4, right? <laughs> right. Um, so the other thing is that Mimosa uses uh, Quantana chips and have okay. always used Quantana chips. And the cool piece of trivia here is that Quantana was actually the first vendor to announce their AX chip, which was all the way back in October of 2016. So even before I started at Mimosa, that's pretty amazing that these guys have been working on it for so long. And continuing, huh? Oh yeah, for um, sure. I know they're, they're working on even more advanced chips right now. So, you know, we're not going to have any first gen AX. We're going to have their, their most advanced piece of hardware in our equipment. So I'm looking forward to really getting that out to people so they can try it out. Eric, is there anything else we want to add to AX? Uh, are we able to add more clients from our home home routers uh, so, using the AX chipset? In theory, you can have it up to uh, 1024 30? clients. 10, okay. So, uh, you know, quite a few clients in theory that can be handled on an AX uh, router or an AX access point. So, we don't know. For us, we'll just have to wait and see at this point. See what happens. All right. Well, I guess that's it for us for uh, this episode. So uh, we'll see you next time on the next uh, Mimosa podcast. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Please hit the subscribe or follow button to stay up to date with our latest podcast, which will be available on YouTube, iTunes, Google Play, and SoundCloud. 